It's often confusing to understand the various different types of material available in inflatable stand-up paddleboards, especially when you consider the different marketing strategies employed by different companies. What I would like to do today is give you a very clear understanding of the three different types of technology available. The first one, and the most widely used, is what's known as single layer drop stitch. Single layer drop stitch is made by weaving a top and a bottom surface and then connecting the two with threads. This is what creates the drop stitch term. You then inflate the board and the threads pull apart. Of course, it's not airtight in that form, so you have to coat it with something. And the way it's done is they pour some liquid PVC onto the surface. It again gets dragged across by a blade, it dries, and it creates an almost airtight seal. What most other brands will then do is then they will cut the board shape out, put a rail tape and edge tape around, deck pads, logos and a valve, fins, and that's what creates the board for them. The disadvantage of that is the board is exceptionally flexible. It almost becomes a banana when you stand on it. In fact, depending on where you stand on it, you can completely change the shape. It's not very consistent, and it doesn't deliver an authentic paddling experience, which we at Red Paddle Co. are so passionate about. The big advantage, though, is the weight. It is very lightweight. It makes it easy to carry and easy to transport. But for us, it never delivered the performance that we were looking for. So what we've always done is taken this single layer drop stitch and then hand laminated, hand glued an outside layer on both sides of reinforced PVC. Now that word reinforced is very important. It isn't just flexible and thin PVC sheeting. It actually has a woven inner and then it's coated on both sides with PVC and then it's glued onto both sides of the board. This has a dramatic effect on stiffness. You can now inflate the board for much higher pressure. The single layer boards, maximum PSI 15 to 18. That's not because their boards work fantastic at that pressure, that's as much air as they dare put inside the board. But with double layer technology, and particularly red paddle coat double layer technology, you can inflate your board to beyond 20 PSI. So it's much stiffer. It maintains shape, it's way more durable. The big disadvantage is it's quite heavy. So lifting the board up, carrying it to and from the beach, or transporting in his bag, you did feel the extra weight. But for us, we were happy with that because it delivered for us a much more authentic paddling experience, something that we really were focusing on. But we still wanted to get a slightly lighter board if possible, but we did not want to trade it for performance. So 18 months ago, we started working to develop we're now calling MSL Fusion Technology. MSL stands for Monocoque Structural Laminate. I'll explain how that works. So we take the original woven surfaces, so the uncoated woven surfaces, rather than applying just a thin liquid PVC, which does nothing other than try and seal the board, we actually have developed an adhesive that we coat on both surfaces. And then, because that's an adhesive, we're then able by machine to laminate our reinforced second layer onto the outside of the ball on both surfaces. So we can measure the amount of adhesive is used and also control the gluing of the board. You now no longer have any cosmetic wrinkles or bubbles, which was always an issue with the double layer. You get a board that's just as durable, just as stiff, if, if anything, slightly stiffer. It maintains its shape. And also, it's almost two kilograms lighter than our double layer technology. So you're getting all the advantages of the weight of single layer plus all the advantages of the double layer technology. There's nothing that really comes close to MSL Fusion technology. The weight saving, the durability, the stiffness, this is everything packaged into one lightweight package that now makes it much easier to use the board. They roll up easier and quicker, much easier to transport and much easier to use. So that, in our eyes, is the future of inflatable stand-up paddleboards.